Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for a daily dose of Dismal Disney. Something. Uh, a daily dose of something today. Yeah, Disney is shutting down Blue Sky Studios, the creator of Ice Age. Uh, Noelle Stevenson, most affected. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. wasn't that. most affected, but yeah. People are kind of flipping out because uh, Noelle Stevenson, creator, well, yeah. Uh, uh, appropriator, appropriator of Shira Appropriator of had a movie deal with Fox uh, for Nimona. Right, and I don't want someone to lose their deal. No, no, no. No, because no. that's her own thing. I mean, yeah. if she's on her own thing, then that's cool, you know. As long as it's not, she's not, re you know, appropriating or ruining something else. I don't really, I mean, I don't want her to lose her deals, but, you know. But this is going to have far-reaching ramifications. It shouldn't surprise anybody who's been watching. I mean, we've been talking about how... When Disney bought Fox, they've actually been shutting down a lot of movies. They mm -hmm. shut down the Mega Man movie. They that made me upset. Mouse Guard looked freaking amazing. Mouse Guard was what I was most upset about. Yeah, it, it looked awesome. And um, they shut this down. They shut down Mouse Guard. And it looked like it was going to be a pretty badass movie. And uh, now it's gone. And now it's Blue, Blue Sky is gone, which is well, so weird. Okay. We don't know where they're taken. Disney still technically is and has those deals. They can do what they want with them, but they can also ax them out because it was with Fox and Blue they're Sky. Gonna they're so, gonna cancel. So you know, but there's any that they wanted to keep. You know, they probably could. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that. Ice Age. This is kind of weird because Ice Age at one point was actually a pretty big franchise, and now it's effectively gone unless Disney brings it. You know, brings it back in some form through Disney Animation Studios or Pixar. Pixar's Ice Age. They'll probably do something with it because it's already a big thing that they don't. Have, they they. It's another one of those ones that are already built. Yeah. How can we ruin it? I mean, yeah. how can we bring it back? Uh, so before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 175,000 subs. Ooh, let's get that to 176. Yeah, and then uh, to 276. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to 200 that easy. now. It's that easy. Tell your friends. Uh, we ahead. do talk about the animation industry. We talk about the comic books. We talk about Disney a lot. We have a lot of familiarity working in and around these companies. Um, this... You know, everybody's tagging us in on this. It's not surprising at all. No, I honestly thought they, I already thought they had done it already. I didn't realize they hadn't. They canceled a lot of uh, productions. I, I knew they canceled yeah. a bunch, so I figured they already did. So here we go. This is coming from Deadline. I think this is where it originated from this morning. Disney is closing Blue Sky Studios, Fox's once dominant animation house behind Ice Age. Why would you, when you've already got Disney and Pixar, why would you have uh, Blue Sky too? We said before, it's like they're, they're going to shut Blue Sky down. But the flip side is, you know, having that many, you could, you could spread more stuff around. I mean... Yeah, but I think what they're going to do is they're going to centralize all their animation someplace and then... But right now, everybody trying to pick up animated stuff because it's easy to do. I just think this would be a dumb move, yeah. in my personal opinion. But, you know. Yeah. Um, so one can say that the writing was always on the wall for Blue Sky, especially after Disney acquired Fox and its yeah. assets in March, which we actually said. How long? Because after they shut down Mouse Guard... We're like, they're going to shut down Blue yeah, Sky. Yeah, we said they were. I thought honestly they kind of already did. But anyway. Yeah, the past year has been challenging for Disney on many fronts, of course, due to the pandemic. Not just on the studio side, but with theme park closures and cruise line dockings. Um, yeah, and Disney, weirdly enough, is one of the only companies with a streamer that doesn't seem to be doing a lot of animated content. Yet, yeah. You know? But yeah, Netflix and everybody else are jumping on that, like trying to grab as much as they can. And and what we are getting from Disney is stuff like that Star Wars, where it's like not oh, even... Anime, yeah, yeah, it's like they're higher public crap and it's like a couple still shots they move the camera around to make it look like it's animated yeah that's all we're getting from them yeah uh sustaining a third feature animation studio was no longer viable for disney given the current economic reality caused by covid no they're just looking really? to, i don't think because, that's, but that's, no, that's not true i'll tell you why because right now everybody's switching to animation and yes. it needs stuff to be animated that does not make sense because everybody and their brother is sending stuff overseas or they're trying to find animators to do they're switching even live action shows to animated formats we've seen it with a couple shows mm -hmm. Animations where everybody's going because yeah. they're they're worried if the shutdowns animation can continue. So that no, that doesn't even make sense. That whole sentence is a load of crap. Uh, they were looking for a reason to shut them down I anyway, because they were again they were pulling the plug on productions that were already pretty far into it, like Mouse Guard. Uh, they had some other movies they were working on. Fox was working on. Uh, they just pulled the plug on it. You know, Disney wants the IP, and I, I'm starting to wonder at this point because Ice Age is valuable-ish. Uh, I'm starting to wonder at this point. At this point, if the, the end game wasn't just to take Fox out of play, so they didn't start a streaming service to compete with them, or you know, they weren't competing with them in the movie theater, or what the deal was. I don't know, uh, but there's something going on here. It is a little weird. So, the last day for Blue Sky will be in April. The number of Blue Sky employees being impacted numbers 450. Disney will be working with the employees at the Greenwich, Connecticut based animation house to explore open positions at other studios. So, they might. 
Look, if they can't get a job at Disney, because honestly, I would not work anywhere at Disney at this point because Disney keeps laying people off. Mm. At this point, I would be like, go get a job at Netflix. Go get a job with one of all these other animation studios that are opening now that are going to compete head to head with Disney and probably out Disney Disney. Yeah. Go work with John Lasseter if you're not too chicken shit to do so. <laughs> I would. Um, studio spokesperson told Deadline, yeah, given the current economic reality, after much consideration and evaluation, we made the difficult decision to close filmmaking operations at Blue Sky. Uh, the library and IP will yep. remain part of Disney. Yep. There are no plans, I hear, for another major studio to absorb Blue Sky's employees and operations. A series based on Ice Age characters is already in the works for Disney+. Plus. Uh-huh. See, told you. Yeah. Uh, through five movies, the Ice Age series grossed $3.2 billion. They're not going to leave it sick. No. They got, like, here's another one that we can just go and, and appropriate and probably do it wrong. Well, here we go. Here's 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 where Noelle Stevenson comes oh, in. they flat out mentioned Nimona? I yes. Mean, quite frankly, Nimona wasn't really that big of a deal. But anyway, continue. Uh, this is the second film of Noelle Stevenson's to get chopped. The first one was uh, Lumberjanes. Which was wasn't just Noelle Stevenson. Wasn't just I'm going to take a moment to express that again. Noelle Stevenson was not the sole person behind Lumberjanes. There was a team of people. And they actually brought her on as a writer. It was already developed by other people. She did not de design and do everything of Lumberjanes. That's not true. Um, but they, they made a point of of singling her out. So this is the, the second project she's had. The rug but this up. one was her thing. This Nimona was hers. was hers. Yeah, that was one her it was comic. her. So production on the Patrick Osborne directed Nimona, which is dated for January 14th, is being stopped. Uh, 2022 is being stopped. And the film will no longer be released. Deadline is learned. Nimona had 10 months of production still left to complete it. Nimona followed a young shapeshifter who teams up with a mad scientist named Lord Ballister Blackheart to expose the ruler of the kingdom. Uh, you could, I would say you can read the webcomic. I think they took it down after the graphic novel came out. I don't know. It was pretty much just to, to tease to get the people to buy the graphic novel. We said, we told Which people. We, we know that because some or agents might have been. Mm. <clears throat> anyway. We told people. They're gonna they're gonna cancel Nimona. You watch when they're canceling Mouse Guard. Yeah, they're canceling Mouse Guard was a bigger deal than Nimona. People think. are like, "No, you're lying, Clownfish TV. You're lying. You don't know what you're talking about, Clownfish TV." We said in a video, we said uh, Lumberjanes got canceled. How long until Nimona gets canceled? Lumberjanes was far more no notable than yeah, Nimona. Yeah, it was. Uh, so following Disney's acquisition of Fox, it was announced in August 2019 that Disney President Andrew Milstein was named co-president. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. So they pointed out that they've had many bombs, spies in disguise did not do yeah, well Ferdinand did, did not great. do well um and they're kind of like you know the only thing they have going for them is ice age really uh, rio did okay i think uh the peanuts movie i actually like quite a bit uh i'm a huge peanuts fan i'm yeah, kind of a true. peanuts uh snob so for me to see the peanuts movie and say hey it was actually pretty good uh, i guess he is a peanut snob i am a total he's very snobby snob. about his nuts i am uh i'm a very snobby snobby uh uh, a connoisseur of, of peanuts. Anyway, uh, are you serious right now? Yeah, this is quite sad. Netflix animation should just buy the place. Well, they're they not. can't because Disney owns it. Yeah. But however, uh, if these people don't get absorbed into to Disney, um, uh, they could be taken by other studios. And since right now there are a plethora of people wanting to hire animators, yes. now would be the time to get your friends and start your own and start competing. Just saying. I think the future of animation isn't going to be with companies like Disney. I think it's going to be independent studios producing content that gets placed on different streaming For services. For other places, right. Yes. They're going to be Distributed by other, Yes. Uh, so I that agree. that would be the thing to do if you're if you work in animation. But uh, a lot of people who work in animation right now don't have the skill set to go start their own studio. Now the old school uh, the old school animators mm -hmm. who worked for Disney years ago, you know, we they we, already started their own studios. Yeah, we saw it happen to Sergio Pablos. And yeah, we, we, Don Bluth. Don Bluth. Those guys have a business sense and they can they can kind of do a little bit of everything. They can pull together a studio. Yeah, you weren't so specialized, which I mentioned before, like guys, I told you about this when I was, you know, it used to be back in the day, you had to learn how to do everything. Now you go to art school and they specialize you in, I am digital effects fire. Yeah. I'm digital effects hair. And it's like, and that's cool, but you're, you're only able to work on what they want you to work on for that one particular thing. Um, where it used to be, you had to know how to do everything. These people invented this stuff, so they had to do everything. And and you're better off to know how to do everything than you are to specialize yourself into oblivion. But that's just, you know, my two cents. And a lot of the people working in animation right now, even beyond the specialization, uh, you know, the bean mouth crew, they're, God, they're, the, the showrunners that are coming in without any practical <laughs> experience, they're not going to be able to go start their own studios. Um, and that's where the future is. So we need people. We need older animators. We've done videos on this before. 
about the lack of skills, we need older animators who kind of knew a little bit about everything to become the new Walt Disney's and just go start their own thing. Right. And if Disney wants it, they can get the right. They can stuff. pay them for it. Yeah. Yeah. Like you go make our cartoons for us. We don't know how to make cartoons anymore here. Well, at they Disney. did it with gaming too. They got rid of their gaming studio. Now basically, as these people license out the game, the titles yeah. to do the games for them. So, you know, there you go. Anonymous comment. I love this. Nimona, based on a book that got good reviews but was never a bestseller. Not untrue. Uh, was not going to be a commercial hit. Agree. Best case was a base hit along the lines of Coraline, which wasn't exactly wildly profitable. I, it would not, I don't think, I don't see it doing as well as Coraline. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the uh, Princesses of Power Reddit that hates us, by the way, they've, mm -hmm. they've. You know what I just said, you know what I say to you all? <gasps> yeah. Um. Oh my God, Noelle Stevens says Nimona's been permanently shut down. What a cringe-ass move on Disney's part. You must hate gay people, Disney. I don't even. How could you do this? Uh, well, it, it comes down to money. Okay, this is actually funny. Twitch and, and Twitch Prime. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Um, oh, come on. Is that you? Yeah, but that's an old photo. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is this is going to be uh, uh, devastating for a lot of people working in the animation industry. I, again, not surprised at all. Um, but everybody's making sure they mention that Nimona has been canceled. And everybody kept talking about, like, this is a huge win that Nimona is getting an animated feature. I mean, look, I, again, like I said, I don't want to see her lose her movie. No, I really no. don't think they were, I, honestly, with everything going on, I don't think they were working on it too much. I think they, it was on, it was a back burner thing anyway. I think it, it's got, it got pushed back a couple times prior. Yeah. I don't think it was a priority. Um, but it was her own thing. And, and she had a book deal and stuff for it. So I would not wish someone to lose that. It was their own thing. This is not like she where she just appropriated it, tried to take credit for it, you know, vilified all the fans and changed everybody yeah. to be, you know, LGBTQ for no reason other than the fact that she wants something that represented her. But, uh, you know, that that's not the same thing as this. This is something different. This is her own thing. Um, I don't, I wouldn't wish that she'd lose it. No, 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 no. Um, I just but think, I didn't think it was going to be doing great. I didn't no, think it we, was going to do great. We, yeah, it was going to be, it was going to be kind of a, a like, niche thing. It might have right. been huge with Tumblr and Twitter, but I don't. And I don't, Reddit. And Reddit. Reddit would have loved it, but I don't think it was going to be a huge deal. Um, you know. And Mal like Mouse Guard was a travesty, though. I mean, I'm looking at these pre visuals, and I'm like, they lost it. Yeah, yeah, it this amazing. is amazing. And I saw the sets they had built and all this other stuff, and I'm like, this is another one based on a comic. Uh, a lot of these, unless it's a superhero movie, I mean, this is kind of where we're at with it because a lot of graphic novelists, in particular, are like, let's do our graphic novels, and then some studio is going to come along and give us a bunch of money and make a big budget movie and turn my my little comic book into a household name, right? If they do it, because a lot of times we've mentioned to you guys before, this happens all the time. They will option something just because they want to keep it, you know, tied up so it doesn't compete with something they're already doing. Yeah. And people don't know that. They do it all the time. They uh, Just because you got an option doesn't mean they actually were going to make it. No. And yeah, there was one uh, webcomic in particular where it was had it was very similar to Indiana Jones. We're not going to name who it was. And and uh, the author was very excited. It got optioned by a, a major studio. And we're like, yeah, but that major, well, it was Disney, that major studio already owns actual Indiana Jones. Right. They're, they're optioning your, your book to keep somebody else from making an Indiana Jones style movie to compete with their Indiana Jones. Right, exactly. You they know, do this all the time. They option things and then, or they intend to do something with it, but it sits in limbo. And especially now, um, things are sitting in limbo for, because of financial reasons, because of the uh, the pandemic. And it just basically ties you up from taking it any place else or for even you doing something else with it. Yeah. So there, you know, there's a downside to having something optioned. We had stuff optioned, but luckily it was wait. released. Yeah. It, it, they, you know, they we were nice stuff that they get back. You know, and they released it. Yeah, sometimes they don't. Sometimes, or they have to do something with it within a certain amount of time. Like, usually it's five years or something like that. Uh, I'm thinking of Amulet. The Amulet graphic novels, they have been in development hell for, like, 12 years now. They, they, they've they had, like, three or four studios option them, and then the movies never get made. And they always put this big announcement and deadline. Hey, we're going to do this. The Scholastic comic is a movie. And then, like, years go by, nothing happens. And the next thing, it's like, hey... Somebody else got, first it was Will Smith. Will Smith got mm -hmm. the rights to Amulet, and then now it's like some other, and it's like, at this point, especially in this economy, I will believe it when I see it. The book it. series is over, and they were, and it was sold because it was in the, it was in the Scholastic book yeah. fairs. And frankly, it's over, and people don't really care like they used to care about it. And that sadly is the truth, but I'm sorry if you don't like to hear it, but it, top of mind, it matters too. Yeah. 
Um, and they're not going to, they're not going to take a chance, especially now. They're not going to take a chance on some indie web comic or something and turn that into a big budget movie. No, not when they have all like things like Ice Age right, that they own right. now and this is sitting there. Of course, they're going to make it into a Disney Plus show. And they're going to want to try to absorb some of these people because the people that they know what they're doing are, are, are that have worked on this, they're going to want to keep. So I'm sitting here thinking this Ice Age show, if they're letting everybody go in the studio side of it, they're probably outsourcing it to some cheap animation house overseas, the I don't Philippines know. or India or something. But they said they were trying to roll some of these animators into their into internal you know, their lo- other openings, if there is any. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it makes sense, though, that they'd have them because they'd probably put them on the Ice Age show. But, you know, I don't, who knows? Do we, we give up trying to figure out Disney. I mean, they have a, an investor call on Thursday. That's going to be a lot of razzle-dazzle. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there. but it's very clear, very clear that Disney does not think its future is in animation. You look at the people that Which are cutting weird. loose. weird. They think they're, I, I think they're basically looking at themselves. Marvel, D- yeah, Star Wars. Live action. They think that's, that, that's their future. Yeah. Which is I really sad. think they do think that. But it, yeah. yeah, and th- those franchises are eventually going to fade with time. What what has made Disney Disney? And, Innovation, yeah. new stories, fresh ideas. And it's sometimes been, sometimes could be very similar to other ideas, <laughs> but you know. But the spine of Disney, the backbone, has always been animation because Walt was an animator, and they started out with animation, and it seems like they are. Well, he was also a storyteller yeah. first, and and he found ways to make his stories come true, you know, come up to reality. And now they're more about pushing uh, narratives than they are about pushing, you know, boundaries for good storytelling. Yeah, pushing a narrative is not the same as telling a good story. No, it's not. So you can uh, do, you can you can tell a good story and be diverse, totally doable. Um, Dragon Prince. You know, stuff like that. Oh yeah, that. Dragon Prince is great. But they don't. That's not what they're interested in. Well, Dragon Prince again. You know, that studio they they did it themselves. Yeah. And then they have Netflix run it, and that's that's what the future is going to be. We need more independent voices creating content. Uh, that's if you want to work in animation at this point, getting a job at one of these mega studios, I think is possibly a terrible idea or at least let's bank get it. the experience and save yeah. your money and start your own thing yeah betting your future on it's bad so we're gonna wrap this up yep please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we'll talk to you later bye